Hello there, so Tycho mapping is based on hit sounds, and hit sounds are used to complement the song and give feedback to the player. Hit sounds should sound similar to the sound it's representing. If there's a snare sound in the song, use a hit sound that most closely matches a snare sound. Now imagine this principle and apply it to every single hit object, and that is exactly what Tycho is. Let's do a quick little experiment. I'm going to play the default Tycho hit sounds and you try to describe the sound in your head, all right? This is a dawn. This is a cat. Dawns are low-pitched, bassy, and sound similar to a bass drum or a tom, while cats are high-pitched, sharp, and sound similar to a snare drum. If you described each sound in your head in a similar way, congratulations, you just learned the most important thing about Tycho mapping. So earlier on I said that hit sound should be similar to the note or sound it is representing. And with that in mind we can start to understand what each note is used for and what they normally represent. Dons are used for bass drums, toms, and low pitch sounds. Cats are used for snares and high pitch sounds. Keep in mind that when we refer to sounds as being high pitched and low pitched, we are talking about the pitch in relation to other notes. Let's say we have a note that sounds like this. Really high pitch, right? Now let's say that after that note comes a different note that sounds like this. It's still high pitch, but you and I can definitely agree that the first one is higher in pitch than the second one. So if I were to map this, I would map the first sound as a cat and the second one with a don because the second sound was lower in pitch in relation to the first. Now drums are really simple to map. If it's a snare, it's a cat. If it's a bass drum, it's a don. If it's a hi-hat, you can actually use don or cat. Notes mapped to hi-hats are generally used to add some variety, whilst notes on snares and drums stay rather constant. For crash symbols, you could use finishers, but some songs can have crashes at the start of every bar or more frequent than that, and it can actually get kind of annoying, and this is something I will discuss in a separate video, but yeah, you could use it for that. Now what about vocals? Now, vocals are actually more complicated than you might expect. Why? Because we can make different sounds with our mouths while still maintaining the same pitch. Okay, let's do an experiment. Say ooh and hold a steady pitch. And then say e while staying on that exact same pitch like this. Ooh -ee, ooh -ee. If you pay attention, you might realize that you can map those two sounds with notes of the same color or map the first one as a D and the second one as a K because the O sound is a lot more deeper while the E sound is a lot sharper, even though they are the exact same pitch. Now this can also be applied to consonants. If there's a B sound, you can map it as a don. If there's a P, a K, or something like that, you can map it as a cat. This is what makes mapping vocals unique and interesting since you basically have a lot more freedom in terms of variety and note usage. And that's pretty much it for note color basics. Now you can play maps and know why some sounds are mapped with a don and others with a cat. I feel like this is the most important thing to learn about Tycho mapping and once you learn it you have like a eureka moment where everything like finally makes sense and clicks. Or at the very least I had that eureka moment when I first started mapping Tycho, it felt amazing. Now it's important to keep in mind that this is just a general rule of thumb. These principles can be ignored for the sake of other principles that I will discuss in a future video such as playability and emphasis. As always, thank you very much to everyone on screen right now who helped me out with this video, and I will see you guys on the next video which will be about rhythm basics. Also, one more thing, um, I'm a beat map nominator now. It's pretty cool, I guess, pretty gamer.